Okay, so that's multiplication. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not going to do square roots. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really quickly do a couple of division things because I want to leave you with some really hard problems in case you want to keep playing with this for your own enjoyment later. So I want to make sure we get uh, a couple of these good, good hard ones in. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, 276 divided by 12. You might notice why I picked these particular numbers. Not only does it go evenly, but we just did this problem, right? Okay, so 270. Six. Okay. So I want to divide it into 12. Well, what, I, what do I have to do? I have to find some 12s, right? I want to count how many 12s there are. So it's just like this domino method. I just need to find those 12 dominoes in here. Hey, here's one. So that makes one group of 10, yep. Yeah. And, hey, there's another one. And another one. And I'm boxing my 12 dominoes because I want to find out how many of these I can find in 276. So I'm making boxes that look like this with 10 and two ones. And there's one more, but it's kind of funny shaped. And so I see I've got two of them here and three of them here. So the answer is 23. Why is it 23 and not 203? Yeah, 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 okay, fine. Ignore details, you can figure it out later. Because I, 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 you know, I wanted to go slowly through some first stuff, but I have some interesting questions I want to ask. All right. So we've done exploding and unexploding and stuff. And I want to continue to insist that we have whole pebbles, but I'm going to uh, modify things by adding some boxes that didn't used to be allowed over there. So this is still our place where we put pebbles in, OK? But now there's going to be some infinitely many boxes on both sides. You with me here? So if I had 10 pebbles in here, they would explode to make a one ounce pebble. This is still my one ounce spot, OK? But now I'm going to put in, it's still 10 one, yeah. OK. So I'm going to put a quarter of a pebble in there. I certainly don't have 10 pebbles, so I can't explode it this way, right? But I could explode it the other way. So if I explode a quarter pebble here, what would that make here? 10 quarters, right? When the fast way to draw 10 quarters is like this, right? So now I have two whole, pe I just drew 10 quarters. I have two whole pebbles and a half, but half pebbles aren't allowed. So what do I do? I have to explode this thing, and what is it going to make over here? 10 halves. Okay, and so what's the fast way to draw 10 halves? Like this, right? So how many pebbles do I have? I have in here how much left? Two, and here, five. So what did we just discover? One quarter of a pebble equals, we'll call it 0.25. All right. Should we do a harder one? All right. This one is going to require some imagination because my drawing skills aren't going to be good enough for it. Um, I'm going to need some more space. I don't know. Do we want to do we want to stick to base ten, or do you want to have some fun with a different base? Let's take a vote. Who who likes sticking with base ten a little bit more? Who wants to do something with a different base that's not ten? Who doesn't care? <laughs> who didn't bother voting? Who still didn't bother? Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right. So it looked like there's a little bit more for base ten than otherwise. So we'll go with that. I'm going to draw this which, as you can clearly see, is exactly one-seventh of a pebble. <laughs> Maybe not so clear. Okay, so we're going to try to figure out what one-seventh is. 
So all we need to know about this thing is that seven of them makes a pebble. It doesn't matter how accurately I draw it because when I explode it, what am I going to get over here? Ten of them. So, and I can just make them dots and just remember seven of them makes a whole one, so I'm going to keep those. That makes one pebble. This outline thing is seven of those little wedges because I'm too lazy to draw them. Or I could draw it like I did up here, right? Or I could put in this box, you know, one thing cut up into sevenths in some vaguely inaccurate way, and then three more seventh pieces lying around. Right. But the point is that seven of them glom together to make one whole thing in there. And I have three left over. So now what should I do with those three? Yeah, turn them into 30 in the next box over. Oh boy, 30. Okay. So it depends on what you want to go with. If you're trying to emphasize that 7 sevenths makes a whole, you should probably draw it like this. If you're trying to emphasize that 3 here turns into 30 here, you should probably draw it something more like this, so that you're emphasizing the groups of 10 more. Either way, you then group your 7s. Looks like I have two left over. I got four groups of seven and two left over. Oh, yeah, because four groups of seven is 28, two left over. So what is this process that I'm doing normally called? Uh, writing is irrational. Yeah, more specifically, like the actual steps ar arithmetically that I'm going through. Long it's long division, right? But I'm not saying bring down a zero and blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying one dot here is worth 10 here. So if I have two dots left over here, Oh, I better draw my explosions. If I have two dots left over here, I explode them, and that gives me 20 dots here. And there's no messing around with bring down zeros or whatever, and it's just I don't want to have to keep on exploding forever, so I want to glom together as many groups of seven as I can so that I have as many whole things, right? So here the picture would be 20 sevenths would look like, well, that's seven sevenths. Okay, and then I'm going to have six of these little pieces left over, right? So you could draw the same picture of 20 pieces. Okay, and so I keep going. I got two groups of seven here. I'll just do it like that. And then I have six dots left over. I unexplode those. I get 60 in the next box over, and so on and so on. Eventually, I get to a thing where I have one left over again. I'll just do it real quick, right? So I have 60 dots here, which is eight groups of seven, 56 plus four more. So I have 40 dots here, which is five groups of seven with five left over, which makes 50 dots here, which is seven groups of seven with one dot left over. And if I have one dot left over, that's just like where I started here. So what's going to happen next? It's going to repeat the same sequence of explosions.